welcome back to my channel. My name is Blair if you're new here and today we're doing a Walmart grocery haul. Um, this is shopping for two weeks, one person, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I usually budget around 150 for that. Uh, I think I spent 127 this week, so didn't do too bad. I might have to buy some other things later, but we'll see. So I'm gonna show you what I got and explain what it's for and what my meal plan kind of is for the next couple of weeks. But let me show you the non-grocery items first. And usually I don't count these items in my grocery budget, but I did because I was under. So toilet paper, buy it every two weeks. Feminine care products. And I like to always keep a backup of shampoo and conditioners and stuff like that in the cupboard. So if I run out, I have it and it's not like a scramble to get some. <laughs> and I don't normally buy paper plates, but they were on sale for this big pack and I thought I would go ahead and get it. That way I have them ongoing um, as we're creeping into summer and grilling season and stuff. It'll be nice to have that on hand. So this is the non-grocery items. And over here we have sparkling water. I buy this maybe once a month. I don't drink it every day, but it's just nice to have on hand when I want something different. I got some sourdough bread. This I'm gonna use to make grilled cheese and I'm gonna have broccoli cheese soup that I got from Sam's Club a while ago. I wanna finish that off so it's gone. So that'll be dinner for one night. Um, I bought some of these last time I went grocery shopping and I always forget how much I love pecan shortbread or pecan sandies. So I wanted to have some more in my cookie jar. And as you know, I've been loving the popcorners and I decided to get the kettle corn this time around. And this is a week where I need to restock my frozen breakfast sandwiches that I prep ahead of time. So I have two of those to make up a month's worth. I got taco seasoning and the carb counter tortillas. This is for a new recipe I'm making. It's like a cream cheese beef enchilada dinner. So that'll be um, second week's dinner. Um, I got some rice just to restock. Um, I love these Kinder seasonings. I don't know if it's just because I keep my air fryer right near my spice cabinet, but every now and then these things will start to like harden up. So I need to replace this one. And this one was on sale um, and I've never had this margarita one, but I thought that would be fun to try for like tacos and stuff, especially with this beef dish. Um, I also got Manwich because um, the second meal I'm making the week I'm doing these, I'm going to use the other half of the beef to have Sloppy Joes. And I'm going to use the sourdough bread instead of buying buns because I'm trying to keep it inexpensive. But also, I may buy something fresh veggie-wise to go with this meal. I haven't decided yet. I also got some Monterey Jack cheese. I have tortilla chips already and I thought that could go with this dinner. So this is kind of more the pantry, like staple items. Last but not least is the perishable stuff. So I bought some of these last time I went grocery shopping, uh, the light and fit smoothies. These are honestly perfect for me on days when I'm hungry and I'm working because I do work on the phone at my job. And this I can at least drink when I can't be eating, but it helps satisfy me until I can get to my meal. So I did get two packs of those. Plus on Ibotta, they were a dollar back. Um, I got orange juice because I'm running low. I was craving chocolate milk. Sometimes when I go grocery shopping, I'll buy like one of the Nest Quick single ones. But honestly, for the price of this, it was cheaper than one of those. So I just thought I might as well get the half gallon. And then I also got my lactose free 2% for coffee and stuff. Again, not lactose intolerant. It just lasts longer. Like, look at this. <laughs> um, cream cheese, pretty obvious for the cream cheese enchiladas. I got an 18 count of eggs because I will be using 12 of these for the breakfast sandwiches. And then I also got the ultra thin mild cheddar. I like these for the breakfast sandwiches because it's not too much. Uh, sour cream, the Mexican dish. Uh, sliced Colby Jack for the grilled cheese. I also got three bags of the triple cheddar. Always good to have on hand, but week two's lunch, I'm doing like the broccoli rice cheese bowls. Really simple. So I need cheese for that. The enchiladas. And I think that's all. 
Also, this sliced cheese is gonna be with turkey. Um, I'm gonna have that as sandwiches for the first week. And I have um, dummy baguettes, these twin dummy baguettes. I bought two of them the last time I went grocery shopping to make ham and cheese sandwiches for lunch, but I only needed two. So I was like, well, I'll save the other ones and use those up. I bought this on a whim to try cheddar bacon dip from Dean's. Um, I have some pita crackers in the cupboard and I thought that might be good with that. Got some fresh strawberries just to enjoy this weekend. Mushrooms and asparagus. I'm doing an Alfredo pasta. I already have the noodles and I had the pasta sauce in the cupboard and I love it when I add uh, mushrooms and asparagus to it. I also got one banana for breakfast for my oatmeal for the first week. The second week I always do the frozen blueberries, which that's stuff I had on hand. Uh, Texas cheese toast, that's to go with the Alfredo meal. And then the broccoli florets, which will be for the broccoli rice bowls. So like I mentioned, that's pretty much gonna cover me for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, two weeks, one person, and I spent $127. Uh, just to recap, I plan two lunches. Uh, first lunch is gonna be the turkey cheese sandwiches. Second week will be the broccoli rice cheese bowls. And then week one's dinner, I'm doing the Alfredo asparagus mushroom pasta with the bread and the broccoli cheese soup that's in the fridge from Sam's Club with grilled cheese. And in the second week, because I'll be opening a pound of ground beef, I'm gonna do the enchilada di dish, the cream cheese beef enchilada. Um, and then the other half I'll use to have sloppy joes. So, and I try to do that, especially by myself. Like I don't wanna use all the meat for one dish and know I'm gonna waste it. So if I'm gonna open it, let's plan two beef dishes for those two weeks. Sometimes I'll use part of it in the first week and I'll just cook it and then cool it down and freeze it cooked to make it easier on the second week. But this is my Walmart grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you got a meal idea, and as always, I hope everybody has a blessed day.